This course will focus on electric power substations and distribution systems. It's interesting to note that this part of the electric power system has changed significantly over the years from when power was first generated. Originally, power was supplied from smaller individual plants, where the power was typically generated at each individual plant. With this arrangement, the individual plants were known as subsidiaries or substations. Over the years, as plants grew larger and became connected to a grid system, these generating plants were converted to distribution stations, receiving their energy supply from a larger facility instead of being supplied by their own generators. As shown in Figure 1, power is produced at a generation plant and transmitted over transmission lines to various substations. Substations are an integral part of electric generation, transmission, and distribution systems. One of the main purposes of an electrical substation is to transform power from higher voltages to lower voltages or vice versa to meet the requirements of the specific distribution network. These substations may accommodate multiple changes in voltage within a certain electrical system, eventually delivering the required voltage to the customer. The distribution substation essentially transfers power from the transmission system to the distribution system of a particular area. Typically, it's not economical to connect power customers directly to a main transmission system because of the high voltage level on a transmission system. So, this is accomplished through a substation lowering voltage to distribution level. The input for a distribution substation can often be 115 kilovolt voltage level and will consist of two input lines. Outgoing distribution voltages will typically be medium voltage levels between 2.4 kilovolts and 33 kilovolts. Another important feature of electric substations is the capability of isolating faults in either incoming transmission systems or outgoing distribution systems. These substations are oftentimes the point of voltage regulation for the distribution system. Additional voltage regulation equipment may also be installed along the distribution system if the system is miles long.